The city of Milledgeville is still working to recover after issues with the water system. A bowl water advisory was issued Thursday morning as water levels returned to normal. 41 NBC's Andrew Willis explains how the city's water has been affected. Since Tuesday, residents of Milledgeville have had to conserve water due to low water levels caused by a pump failure at the city's water treatment plant. Efforts are underway to restore safe drinking water to the city of Milledgeville. If you think about the timeline of how this happened, it was kind of delayed. This failure actually occurred Monday morning. People had plenty of water Monday. They had plenty of water for most of Tuesday. But by then, those tank levels had gotten really low, and that's the reason people started losing water and losing pressure. A second pump is now in use at the water treatment plant. The city has also ordered a temporary portable pump to supplement the two pumps in operation. According to city manager Hank Griffith, water is flowing at a higher capacity, but water pressure is still low. The water pressure itself is very, like, it's not strong. So when I'm taking a shower, I can't wash fully. Pressure is expected to return to normal within 24 to 48 hours once the city's tanks have been refilled. After that, the city can begin testing the water to make sure it's safe to drink. We feel like we've turned the corner. Uh, we are still going to have the portable pump come in and get it installed so we have some redundancy. Uh, we apologize for uh, for this causing an, an interruption in your life. Money for repairs will come from a water and sewer enterprise fund, which generates income by charging residents a fee for the service. Griffith says water bills will not be affected by the outage. The city has suspended late utility fees and service cutoffs due to the issue. One resident told me that he had not been affected by low water levels and that he had been able to use his water like normal. In Milledgeville, Andrew Willis, 41 NBC News. And according to the Baldwin County School District, water has been restored at Baldwin County High School. They say all school will resume at normal schedule today. As far as the bowl water advisory, the city officials recommend residents to boil water for a minimum of two minutes before drinking. They also are asking residents to continue conserving water.